So Soul Simmers and welcome back to a brand new video. Have you always wondered when you watch YouTubers or Sim streamers, like quickly scroll through the swatches of a single item in the game, how they do that? Well, today I'm here to tell you not only how they do it, but also how you can do it if you actually have a keyboard without a numpad, because you need that. But there is a way around it if you don't have it. And I know if any one of you are like me and you have a nice gaming keyboard, it doesn't always come with a numpad. So I used my big brain and I figured a way around that. And today I want to show you how I did it. So let's dive right into the game so I can show you guys. As you might know, when you place an item, you can like place it and then go all the way up here or press R on your keyboard. And then you can scroll through all of the swatches like this. However, that always feels like you're taking an extra step in placing an item when maybe you just want to check out the swatches. The other way that you can do it is kind of go over here and then scroll through the swatches over here, which kind of changes like the swatch in the tiny little th thumbnail of the item. But again, not the best way. So today I want to show you what you can do if you have a numpad on your keyboard. A numpad is basically like all the way on the right side of your keyboard. You have like the one, two, three, four, five through nine keys. And then right next to it, there is a plus and a minus key. And those are the ones that you're going to need. And once you grab the item, you can actually press without like placing the item yet. Press plus and minus on your keyboard to get like scroll through like back and forth the swatches of that single item. Isn't that just the best thing? It is so good for when you're building in The Sims. But I hear you think, you promised me, how would you do this if you don't own a keyboard with a numpad? Because you just said that you have one without a numpad. And that is actually true. I have a, ga a gaming keyboard, which, as you can see, does not have a numpad on it. However, I have a mouse. I have a very standard, let me just quickly show you. It's not very standard. It's an ergonomical vertical mouse, but basically, most mice come with these like side buttons or sometimes even a button on the top. You can use those. You can reprogram those to actually become other keys, kind of like shortcuts, like control C on your keyboard copy stuff. You can map those things to those keys. And today I want to share with you how. So again, to prove, if I grab an item, I press those two little keys on the side of my keyboard and it actually changes the swatch of the item. The program that you can use for any mouse to reprogram buttons is actually called X Mouse Button Control, and it is a universal, applicable to all mice, free program to download. I'll make sure to link it in the description box down below so you have easy access to the right download link. But basically, when you open up the program, what you wanna do is you wanna find mouse button four and five, which is basically the extra buttons on your mice. Then you want to click here and click simulated keys. Simulated keys basically means that whenever you press that button on your mouse, it will simulate a keystroke on your keyboard. So you click it. Once that window pops open, you navigate to this first top bar. Then you click on this little drop down menu. You find numeric keyboard and then you do subtract or add, which will literally mean from your numpad plus and minus. Once you do this, you click OK and then you click apply. Basically, once you do this and you apply it, you have to restart your PC for this to take effect. But after that, you can literally go into your game and you should be good to go on shuffling through swatches by using your mouse instead of the numpad on your keyboard. I hope this quick tutorial was useful for you. If you have any questions, feel free to drop in the comments down below. If it was helpful, please give it a big thumbs up because it really helps the video and my efforts here on YouTube. And if you don't want to miss any of my future videos, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and notification bell. And with all of that out of the way, thank you so much for watching and have a great day. Bye everyone.